What is going on YouTube? Tangled Lions here and we're gonna be out we're gonna be out of uh, fishing for a little bit because uh Mumbai tore something in my knee, but you know what? I was like why not just make a why not just make a video of um the arsenal we got here. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's dive in. So the first rod we got over here is one of my very first rods I ever got. It's a six foot medium action ugly skip, ugly stick. Uh, I believe it is a Shakespeare two piece, but guide's all broken. Oh, all in all, good action. <laughs> Let's see. Going on number two. Over here, we got the 4000 Sedona over here, paired with another ugly stick, old. I got a egg weight, egg weight on a swivel attached to a, I believe this is like a three, three foot, four foot leader to a little fly, just whipping, catching, was catching mackerel for bait. Yeah, all in all, good action with this one. I don't exactly know what the rating is for this, um, for this rod I want to say it's a little bit more heavier but this um we get spooled with the main line is about 40 I mean 25 pounds 25 pounds topped off with um 30 pounds 30 pounds fluorocarbon so that's a good that's a good um rod for using for bait catch all kinds of stuff number two Number two over here, we get the 8000 um, Shimano Bait Runner. Good. Good low reel. I've caught, I caught a little tiger on this. I've caught a hammerhead on it. It's a good, it's a good um, reel. Paired with uh, a Pen Mariner 2. Brand new, brand new rod. I want to say this is a six foot as well, 30 to 50 pound um, rating. I want to say what, medium action? Heavy too, oh yeah, this one's heavy. But braid on this is 80 pound, so it handles good. You know, if when you want to get that, some good stuff, you know. And then over for this big guy, I got a ugly stick tiger. Another Shakespeare, this is one of the newer ones, is a 7 foot medium action, set 20 to 50 pound line rating. And then topped off we get 80 pound, 80 pound um, braid, topped off with um, 50 pound fluorocarbon. Hey, go out, um, go check out Beyond Braid, it's a good good braid caught a caught a seven gill on it thresher is yet to be caught on this but um some sea bass shoot even hopefully this even hopefully this winter we can um, get hooked up on to, onto some um, some tuna yeah but good reel this was my cousin's and then i traded with him for this one i traded him my pen swell for it and then with uh the black tip bait rub that was paired with it, but hey, we'll we'll land some stuff with this one. And then on for done with the we're done with the the spinners. Onto the onto the conventional. We got the we got, onto the Avids. We got the what? What's this one? The Avid SX. Yep. SX five three to one gear ratio. I think this one's got nine nine pounds of drag not a lot but this was just a alternative good we got before this one i think we had abu garcia i had abu garcia paired with this with this rod this rod is shoot power pro 20 to 50 line rating i've had this one since i lived in when i lived in um, alaska over in kodiak caught caught salmon silvers pinks reds halibut you name it, it's caught it. Cod, huh, cod, caught. No pun intended, you know. 
but now it's this one I believe is paired off with 25 pound or um, 25 or 20 pound mono and the, I think that's what it's topped off with and then for what it's backed with is I want to say braid it's braid but I forget what pound test braid it is the guy wasn't really um, helpful most of the one we bought him and then our next habit is the LX LX6 this one's a good one this one's caught plenty sharks um, it's caught GT giant trevally ulua papio um, barracuda ono wahoo it's caught it's caught all that good stuff it's paired with a what is this a seeker classic I forget and then what we get on them is um, 65 pound braid no top shot just hold straight to swivel which I'm gonna I'm gonna take the snap swivel off and just put a put some fluorocarbon on there some beyond braid and then for another one we get this was one of my first conventionals we got an old pen I don't even know what this one is and then a custom blank non or no name rod it's good but jigging it's got roller guides like it's for trolling but action's way too light to troll for them still still good rod I wouldn't fish I wouldn't fish anything heavy for it with it and then for one of my favorites is my Shimano Tiagra 30 wide and I got I got it paired with the uh, Eat My Tackle. This is a 160 pound Marlin Tournament rod, I want to say. No, it's the Big Game Custom Rod 160 to 200 pound. This is bent butt, awesome. Paired with 100 pound. It's got 80 pound, 80 pound braid backed with and then topped with 100 pound. 100 pound mono and then I just I was just lollygagging so I for when we were um, bottom fishing so I had it hooked up to a to what do you call them torpedo weights and then had it circle hook to a just a cut up plastic bag catching rockfish just jigging them off the bottom but yeah this one hopefully this one catch um, some good stuff this summer get tuna hopefully we get this bad boy on um, one of our uh, PB shark, go Tory Pines, get some, get some good game. But that's for all the, that's for all the rods. For my, my spear gun, I got a hatch, a hatch custom. So my, one of my favorite, it's a 110. So yeah. My favorite, I, I built I built my own spear gun about a year or two ago, custom, everything, carbon fiber, well, a thing was cherry, but this one took in lives, but we'll get this one back up and running, change up the bands, and hopefully get put on some piles, yellowtail or some ahi, who knows, but... That's it for today, guys. Thank you for uh, tuning in, seeing my going into 2022 um, fishing arsenal. Hopefully, I can provide some um, good content out there. But uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Do a great. It'd be awesome if you guys subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, like, you know, share. But thank you. Catch you guys later.